Hello guys, in this video, let's create connection string for Azure Event Hub. Connection string is required to connect to Event Hub from our C Sharp code. And then we'll also quickly discuss connection string at namespace level versus connection string at Event Hub level. So guys, we are in Azure portal. Let's open this namespace. So we are under overview. Let's go down and let's open the event hub which we had created last time. Now let's go to settings under that shared access policies. And let's click on add and I will say my policy. Let's say manage. That means it has both the accesses send and listen and let's create. So it's been created successfully. Let's close this. And if I open this policy and here you can see the connection string that is primary and secondary connection string. So this connection string we can use to connect to this event up from our C sharp code. Now let's close this and let's go back to our namespace again. And again, if I go to settings and shared access policy, now guys, we are in namespace. Okay. So here also we can see a policy and if I open it here also I can see connection string so this connection string it's for that namespace so that means using this connection string we can connect to all the event hubs within this namespace but ideally we should use connection string for a particular event hub only and with that we can enforce least privilege access policy thank you